Okay, so this bomb, no, this isn't a bomb. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as well as being a product review, is my first take on a first impressions. And today I'm trying out the Moisture Bomb Tissue Mask from Garnier. I think this is fairly new, it's probably come out in the last few months or so. Sometimes I get really taken in by packaging and I'm not gonna lie. I went into Superdrug for some cotton pads and, I mean, I got the cotton pads but I also got this. Nine times out of ten I'm pretty good with going in and buying what I intend to buy but sometimes I slip up. So normally this mask is £1.49 but I got it for 99p. You can get it from Superdrug, Tesco go boots those kind of places so this mask makes some pretty big claims first of all there's a question on the back is the Garnier moisture bomb tissue mask right for me yes if your skin is dehydrated shows the effects of time and your lifestyle dull irregularities fine lines and if you're looking for an effective solution to rehydrate and revitalize the radiance of your skin it's meant to intensely rehydrate your skin reduce the look of fine lines and revive radiance it's got pomegranate extract hyaluronic acid and plant serum it says on the front that one mask is equal to one week of hydrating serum it is a sheet mask sheet masks are really big right now one week after i've used this i will put a little note in the description box to let you know if it really did have one week's worth of hydrating serum you leave it on for 15 minutes and it says it's suitable for sensitive skin types. Let me just take off my glasses and my earrings first of all. I've just washed my face and I've cleansed and toned but there's nothing on my skin right now. The only other sheet masks that I've tried have been these ones that my sister got when we went to Singapore. She let me by the way, I didn't just help myself. Those were good. I can't remember what, I don't know what brand those were. I don't think they were available in the UK anyways. Uh, okay, there was a lot on this. Damn, okay. I can see why they said it hydrates for can keep you hydrated for one week. I'm trying not to get this stuff all over me. Blue side needs to be facing outwards. I guess it's a one size fits all type of thing with the, oh, okay, sideways. With the, um, with the holes. My eyes are pretty small. My nose is on the large side, but it looks like a fairly big mask. I think I'm gonna look like that guy from that film. Yes, detailed. My lips too big for this. Oh, I nearly inhaled it. Okay. Eye holes need to be a little bit bigger. I feel as though I'm in danger of getting the stuff, the serum into my eyes. Oh, this is tingling a little bit around my eye. I can't seem to separate it. I'm just peeling off the. Oh, got it. Somehow it looks even creepier now. The tingling around my eye is stopped now. It is 1.50. I will be back on camera at 5 past. No, that, that doesn't taste good. This mouth hole is too small. Alright guys, it's been 15 minutes. And in those 15 minutes, my skin is meant to have been intensely rehydrated, looks smoother, and my complexion is meant to be more radiant. shiny <laughs> the thing with this mask is i feel like there's still so much product on it that i just don't want to waste let me just rub some of that into my neck you know paid a good 99p for this it does say that you can just rub in the excess or remove it with a cotton pad but look at this excess serum it's just a shame that you can't realistically use all of it and the week after using this your fine lines are meant to appear reduced your skin is meant to look plumper and your skin radiance is meant to be revitalized so thoughts right now my skin feels really smooth my scarf is jacked up i was lying down i nearly fell asleep my skin feels really soft it's kind of tacky maybe i should have um remove some of the excess rather than just let it sit on my skin. I feel like this is something I do just before bed next time. I feel like you don't need to follow this with a moisturizer because all the moisture was in the mask. 99p, I don't think you can go wrong with this. Most face masks are 99p, although this one is normally £1.49. I'm just going with the fact that I got it for 99p. I feel really pampered after that. My guess is that because they say it supplies a week's worth of hydration, you don't actually need to use this more than once a week, which makes sense because most face masks they say not to use more than twice a week anyway because they'll just do more harm than good. Yeah, for 99p, I feel like I'm fixated on the price. I really like the packaging, I'm not gonna lie. The packaging is what caught my eye in the first place. I think the winter months are a great time to try a mask like this. I feel like I look kind of radiant as well without looking like greasy. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but it's for all skin types, not just sensitive skin. I can't stop touching my face. It doesn't feel 
feel as tacky anymore. I literally said it felt tacky like 30 seconds ago. My skin is just absorbing more of the serum as time goes on. Admittedly, I don't have a lot of experience with sheet masks, what with this being the second one that I've tried ever, but I really like it. Honestly, i definitely use this again. I mean, I don't really have fine lines to reduce. I feel like I'm starting to get creases around my left eye. It would just be me trying too hard to find fault with my face. I don't know. I feel really chill. My skin feels really clean. I don't really want to put any makeup on top of my face right now. It felt kind of luxurious on my face. There was a moment where it did sting my eye a little bit, but I think the mask was just sitting a bit too close to my eye. And the eye holes weren't that big, so I couldn't really move it. I mean, I could have adjusted it a bit, but the eye holes I felt like could stand to be a little bit bigger because they always say with these things, don't put them too close to your eyes. It does say it's for sensitive skin, but the eyes themselves, like whoever you are, your eyes are probably sensitive. So I feel like the eye holes should be a little bit bigger. I feel like I might start incorporating sheet masks into my skincare routine. Not on a weekly basis though, more fortnightly or an not annually, I mean, damn. More fortnightly or monthly. I did squeeze a little bit of the excess out of the mask and rub it onto my neck. It was only 99p, but that doesn't mean I need to be wasteful, you know? I guess that's the end of my first first impressions. I hope you guys found that useful and helpful. If you guys go out and try the mask, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, please like it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next video.